Now, Lord, we come before you and we pray for those that are not here because of sickness, because of disease, because of illness, because of any attack of the adversary at this moment and hour. And we declare the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Lord, you've seen all the prayer requests that my inbox has been flooded with today. Some I've probably not even got to. But Holy Ghost, you know what people have need of before they can ask. Matthew 6 and verses 8. Come on, saints, let us lift up our hands in unity, in unison, in the faith. Hallelujah. Let's believe for one another. We pray James 5, 16, pray one for another that you might be healed. Lord, we pray first for those that's in the house tonight that need to be healed. And we pray God for those watching afar and near God, abroad God, through technology whatever they watch this live stream or this recording upon. Lord God, I pray that the power and the person of Holy Ghost uh, would come tangibly. God through that device right now touching them as you're in here touching us right now. You said in Luke 9 and 11 you healed them that had need of a healing. You said in Acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power that he went about doing all manner of good healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. That's the manner of good he did when the Holy Ghost anointed him and the good he did was he healed all that were afflicted and oppressed of the devil. Lord I thank you it's still your will to heal all and I thank you you still gave the church a Holy Ghost and according to 1 Corinthians 12 Lord God you declared in verses 10 that there's the gifts of faith and of healing. Oh yes and so Lord I thank you we unwrap the gift tonight. We don't forget the gift of the Holy Ghost and the gifts that are his and one of them being healings Holy Ghost right now and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ every organ of the body be healed every ailment in the flesh be made whole for you said I'm the God of all flesh is anything too hard for me hallelujah yeah God and we declare tonight nothing is too hard for you oh God hallelujah you're the God of all flesh it's anything too hard for me. So, Lord, we answer that question and we declare not even this. And, Lord, I thank you right now. You're touching people even in this house. Yes, you are. In the name of Jesus. Somebody in here, whatever's been going on with you breathing is being healed already right now. In Jesus' name. There's several people watching with breathing issues and complications. Even somebody is going to watch this that's lying on a bed with some type of medical machinery to your to your right. Uh, yeah, it's even to your left behind you, but it's, and God says, I'm healing you right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, by his stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. Somebody is being touched in their hands right now. In their knuckles, arthritis and stiffness and aching. Uh, yeah, Lord, I thank you right now for a miracle in the hand. Come on, stretch forth your hand. Stretch it up. Stretch it out. As Jesus told the man with the withered hand in the temple that day. Oh yes, hallelujah. Matthew 12, 13. He said, stretch forth thine hand. And it was made whole just like the other. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, you got one bad kidney. But God says it'll be made whole just like the other. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray for those dual organs right now. The lungs. One's bad and one's okay. Lord, I thank you that one lung that's not okay is going to match the other one when somebody goes back to the doctor. In the name of Jesus, made whole. Just like the other. In the name of Jesus, somebody's eye is going to be made whole just like the other. Hey, somebody's ear is going to be made whole just like the other. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Somebody's foot, somebody's leg is going be made whole just like the other somebody's arm somebody's hand it's gonna be made whole just like the other and I give you praise God that's what you told the man with the withered hand that means one of his hands was all right it was just one of them 
it was messed up but when he stretched it forth you declared it shall be whole as the other and I thank you God somebody's other is being made whole somebody's spouse is about to get whole somebody's other oh yeah is about to come to Jesus and be born of the spirit yeah I prophesy yes Lord to a mama watch it oh glory to God when I say mama I'm talking about the female in this family that has served God and pray God says I'm about to touch your other I'm about to touch your husband he's about to call on the God you have and know the God you have your other there's wholeness coming oh yes in the house where you live I declare it in the name of Jesus oh yes in John chapter 4 the man's son that got healed his servant that got healed oh it says his whole house believed oh yes you said in Acts 16 when the jailer Lord God got saved that night his whole house believed Lord you said if we'll believe on the Lord Jesus Christ we'll be saved us in our house. Acts 16, 31. So Lord, I thank you. This is the whole truth. Somebody say the whole truth is the whole house. The whole house healed. The whole house saved. Uh, just as the others. Saved like the others. Delivered like the others. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Somebody say, why not have church right now? Come on. Hold glory to God. Who said you got to have 150, 200, 5,000? Come on. Who said you got to have 10 songs in 35 and 45 an hour? Amen. Come on minutes. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I thank you that you're moving with those that know how to move with you. The rest are just being entertained. But those that move with you, they'll see you move. And I'll give you praise right now. I'm telling you, divine interruptions is in this room. God's interrupting so he can intervene. Medically, they've told you this. They've told you that. And the Holy Ghost said they've been wrong about this and that. Hallelujah. But God says right now, I am turning your emotions that have been like a roller coaster. It's like your spirit's been upside down, inside out, twisted, tormented. But God says suddenly right now, I come to my temple and I come to my house and I come to my temples one-on-one -on -one into my houses right now, my people. And God says somebody right now, the emotional roller coaster you've been on and the torment you've been in your mind. Uh, hallelujah. The doctors have tried tried their best, said all kind of stuff. They've even told you you need to take this, you need to take that. But God says right right here in a moment, I have interrupted and I am delivering your soul from this darkness. I'm delivering your mind from this torment. You won't fear like this no more. You won't be intimidated no more. No, not by this devil because God says the devil is gone. He's being kicked out right now. Oh, he's had his eviction notice served. You you won't be tormented when you're awake. You won't be tormented when you lie down. Holy Ghost. Why? Because Mark 1 36 said that Jesus, or verse 39, preached in the synagogues and he cast out devils. So, Lord, I preach so demons can lose their power. I thank you right now that devils, while I declare your word, they are leaving. They're letting the saints go. They're letting somebody's spirit go. You'll sleep sleep tonight. You won't be tormented no more. You won't be looking for something in a bottle to try to help you go to sleep. You're going to lay yourself down and you're going to sleep in peace, says the Holy Ghost. Oh, because he gives his beloved sleep. Psalms 127 in verses 2. You ain't going to have them dreams you've been having. They tormented you. Crazy stuff been going on in dreams. Oh, Song of Solomon 5 and 2. He said, I sleep but my heart waketh. Somebody say when your body's asleep, your spirit's still awake. Somebody, you've been in warfare at night when you try to sleep. You wake up tired like you've been wrestling. But the Holy Ghost said, not after tonight. You have been delivered. Holy Ghost is moving right now on your behalf. He has heard your request. He has heard your cry. You won't be depressed after tonight. No, no, no. That spirit of heaviness.
Jesus is being replaced with a garment of praise according to Isaiah 61 verses 3 oh yes hallelujah you're about to see through lens of faith where you've been looking through fear and intimidation but not after tonight you're about to see clearly yeah oh I heard me hear that old song and some might not agree with what I'm about to say but that old song said I see clearly now the rain is gone <laughs> it's gonna be a sun sunshiny day I dare you to look at somebody tonight and say can you see clearly somebody has shot the clouds is lifted the rain is over and gone oh the time of singing and the time of the turtle dove is heard in our land song of Solomon 2 13 somebody shout it ain't time to weep it ain't time to whine it's time to worship and get drunk in the Holy Ghost with new wine oh it's time to shout it's time to sing it's time to glory in the Lord for if any man glory let him glory in the Lord 1 Corinthians 1 31 hallelujah Woo! Woo! this is the sound of freedom this is how deliverance sounds for I have spoken and it is done I have commanded and it has stood fast Psalms 33 verses 9 Woo, hallelujah somebody rejoice somebody shout our response is to obey the scriptures he said rejoice with them that rejoice in Romans 14 come on shout Woo, hallelujah my God, my God, my God. Woo! Sister Carmen, I don't know what I'm talking about, but the Holy Ghost said he had to do it before you led worship tonight because God said you're about to lead in a whole different level. God says, I have set your soul free tonight. I have set your mind free tonight. There is going to be harmony and peace in your soul and in your spirit and in your mind from this point forward. It is over. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you, this battle is over. God said this warfare, this darkness, it is over. It is up. God said, I wasn't going to let you leave this year and step into the new year with this old devil with this enemy it is over Woo. hallelujah my God when's church going to start catch up catch up catch up somebody say catch up and we'll have a miracle whip <laughs> Woo. my God somebody say the repeated is defeated Holy, holy, holy. Let me lay hands on the kids right now. Mm. Psalms 127 and 3 said, Lo, children, our heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. My God, what a last service in 2022 here on December 29th. At Acts 29 Church under God. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I was prophesying to myself too. I can't, I, I, I can't you know, express it. I can't even detail it. Because I don't even know how to form the words to explain it. And, and then I'll preach more on this some other time. But sometimes at the beginning of a new year and the ending of it old, there's an invasion. There's a warfare like you never have known. Hallelujah. Uh, so when I started praying tonight, friend, y'all weren't listening to me pray. The Holy Ghost, I ain't prayed like this all day. Now, I ain't saying I ain't prayed. I got up at five and I was seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, there's fire right here, right now. Hallelujah. And this is, I've been feeling its touch today at times. I, I don't know who's prayed for me today, but you've called my name. I felt it every time you prayed. I don't know why I'm right here on my left side, tingling in the fire. It'll be like hot oil run down me just for about a minute or two or a minute and a half hallelujah oh 
boy, and then I'd go right back into warfare again. I'd say, Lord, touch up whoever they are that's praying for me. Hallelujah. And so, Holy Ghost, right now, let this divine touch of yours, God, let it right now overflow on the seed of your people. For the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Proverbs 11 and 21. Keep them, Holy Ghost. Keep them, Holy Ghost. Keep them by your power. Keep them by your might. Let nothing hinder what you're doing in their life at this young age. Because Psalms 139 and 5 says, age is nothing before him. Or verse 5 of Psalms 39. Lord, I give you praise. Nothing hinder what you've begun in them. God bless them. Keep them by your presence and power. Lord, use him. Lord, I can still hear him praying and want to be that preacher. Oh, stir him up, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You wanted to sing? All right, sing it. Set the fire, she said. Set the fire down in my soul. Down the tent to tame. Down the tent to troll. I want more of you, Dad. I want more of you, Dad. Hey, yeah. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, I can't control. I want more of you, God. Did I get to pray for you? I didn't get to pray for you. You was busy casting the blankets. Lord bless him. Use him. Anoint him, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. He's, he's got the Holy Ghost shuffle. I praise God. Amen. Well, the kids. What? Hmm? Amen. Thank y'all. He said, Pastor Marvin, you remember when your foot was hurting? You remember weeks ago? Love you, girl. He said, me and my, he said, my five brothers and sisters. <laughs> Brother Rob said, oh, Lord. He said, and my mom and my daddy said, we prayed for you. Thank y'all. Amen. God answered. Amen. God healed. Praise the Lord God. Amen.